and it was like, do you want to be a breastfeeding counselor? Like, can you help other women? You know, it had like these three questions and I answered, I was like, yes, I can help people breastfeed. So I... Um, I'm trying to think, how do I start this? Yeah. I got when I tell the Brandy story um, of how I became a lactation consultant. How can I start it off? So I was a 21 year old college student. I ended up getting pregnant and I found myself at WIC. <laughs> like, okay, I am a broke college student. I need to feed myself. So I got WIC. And I went to WIC, um, I remember taking the breastfeeding class at the time and the um, teacher was like stacking the Lego blocks up about the benefits of breastfeeding. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Like I didn't know how the difference really was with breastfeeding and um, formula. And so when I had her, I breastfed her. Everything was like the perfect experience. Like I didn't have any sore nipples. I didn't have bad latch. Like my baby just came out. She was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be breastfed baby. <laughs> Then the WIC counselor was just impressed that I was still breastfeeding my baby exclusively. It was like, she couldn't believe it. She's like, so you're only breastfeeding her. And I was like, yeah. And I was thinking in my head, why is she like, making it seem like I'm an anomaly or something like, isn't everyone breastfeeding their babies? And so as I was leaving that appointment, um, it was a like a job announcement flyer on the walls. I was waiting to pick up my check. And it was like, do you want to be a breastfeeding counselor? Like, can you help other women? And so I was like, yes, I can help people breastfeed. So as I began to work at WIC, I found out that women were breastfeeding. <laughs> and on top of that, I found out that black women were breastfeeding. And I couldn't believe it. I couldn't understand why, why weren't people breastfeeding. Uh, my whole goal for becoming an IBCLC was to serve and help black women breastfeed. And West Oakland has a high black African American population. I started the Breast Friends Mommy group here. It is a group for pregnant and breastfeeding African American mamas, babies daddies if they want to come in partners, friends, grandmamas, whoever wants to come to this group and learn about breastfeeding, this is the group for them. It's open to the community, um, not only WIC participants, but also the West Oakland community for people who might not be WIC eligible, but it's a safe space for black women to be able to share their experiences around birth, around breastfeeding with no judgment. But the cool thing about the group is that the mamas lead the group. They teach the group. If they have a question, someone brings up a question, I shoot it back to them. I'm like, oh, you know, Tiffany went through that experience. She can tell you how to breastfeed. She can tell you how to pump. She can tell you how to heal your sore nipples. And so it became that they became breast friends. They became sisters. Um, and they became their each other's support. So if I'm not around, they know that they have other people who are breastfeeding who they could get support from. The group has been going for six years strong. We served over 500 black families, babies and mamas. Um, and the coolest thing I feel about my group compared to other breastfeeding groups is that we breastfeed extendedly. <laughs> a lot of the mamas in our group have breastfed two and three years and they're excited. That's, um, they're the first people in their family to have um, done extended breastfeeding. So they're excited, they, they're breaking stigma, they're breaking uh, stereotypes. <laughs> when, when people are like, oh, that baby's too big, or that baby has teeth, you shouldn't be breastfeeding. They're, they're, they know what to say now. They're like, well, actually, my milk is still beneficial, and they can tell them a long list of reasons why. that WIC changed my life. 
wick and breastfeeding really changed my life. The wick being able to give me a job, give me skills, show me there's this big gigantic world about birth and lactation and and advocacy and education. Like I didn't know black people were sick and dying. I had no idea. I just thought we were healthy and fine like everyone else. And when I started learning about the social economic statuses and how those health disparities really, or where you live really impacts your health, I was just like, what? And then putting it when I'm going to the breastfeeding conferences and I'm hearing that if you breastfeed, you're less likely to have all these health disparities. A lot of times, black women aren't hearing that message. They're not hearing this little simple thing that you can do can really impact your health for the rest of your life and your baby's health. I tell a lot of my clients a lot of times, like breastfeeding will change your life. Like it, it just opens up doors that you never would have known how it would have been opened. So I'm thankful really for that experience. But now I'm able to give back to my community. I'm able to um, teach other black women about breastfeeding. But yeah, I'm just thankful for it because it really changed my life.